What if I told you that getting a free logo could actually be that? It could be 100% free, no credit card needed, and you can make awesome and amazing logos in your browser that you can export and use for a business, a group, an indie, or whatever you wanted to use that logo for, and it's 100% free. If that's something you're interested in, then stay tuned because today we're gonna to be checking out Zarla, the sponsor of today's video. Roll that intro. What's going on guys, Chad here from How To Tech, the channel dedicated to helping you take your tech to the next level. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at Zarla. Zarla is an online platform that is made to help you create a logo without any prior graphic design experience, and it's gonna cost you no money. It's 100% free, no credit cards needed to get your logo once you've created it and download it. And they also give you many different formats to download your logo in, and it is super, super easy, and it's got quite a bit of customization, and it's very awesome. So let's go ahead and jump over to the computer and take a look at it. So now we're over at the computer and we're gonna take a look at the website. And I just wanna kind of scroll through this first before we get started, just so you can get kind of an idea of some of the logos that you can create. And they also have some gamer style logos as well, because I know some of my viewers um, stream on Twitch and play video games. So they have options for you as well, which is really nice. But if you're looking to set up a very professional looking business, they've got some great logos and icons for you to use. And I think you'll really, really like them. And we can see uh, this drive auto care for auto experts. That's a really clean and professional looking logo and you can get it and set it up without even spending money which is really really awesome so let's go ahead and jump back up here to the top and first thing it wants us to do is enter our brand name so first we're going to go ahead and select how to tech just type in whatever brand you want to use and then click create your free logo now it's going to ask you for information based off of your logo. So what is your logo for? So mine is currently set to tech, but you could actually go through here as you can see, and we have options for restaurants, fashion, consultant, um, like you could do probably construction. Yeah, you could do construction if you wanted to search for something in construction. This is gonna help them kind of gauge what kind of icons and logos that they want to procure for you to just kind of give you an example so you can see what you might want to go with. So we're going to go with tech and click tech and then click next. So if you have a slogan for your business, go ahead and enter that there. We're not going to enter one right now. I want to show you how you can add that in the future. Um, but for us right now, taking your tech to the next level is kind of a long drawn out uh, slogan and I really don't want it to be longer than the brand name. So I'm gonna go ahead and click next. And we have two options here. So we can let Zarla generate icons based off the information you just gave, or you can search for icons as well. I would say go ahead and check out what they've got procured for you already because they've actually got some pretty cool ones. But if you're curious, you can go through here and search by keywords and find some other stuff, or maybe you find a few you like and you can select those. And whenever you found a decent amount of logos that you like and you wanna kind of preview and see what they could look like together with different color schemes and things like that, you can go ahead and click next. But for us, we're gonna click that back arrow and we're gonna let Zarla choose these for us. So we can see that we've got this kind of uh, geometric shape here. We've got a plain font logo. We have whatever that is. Um, this one looks pretty cool. Um, I like this one right here. I like that a lot. And we can see we've just got options. This right here actually has to be my favorite right now. This one, I like that a lot. But yeah, you can just go through here, take a look at some of the different options they have. And if you're not satisfied with it, you can go ahead and update this. Or if you decided you wanted to add a slogan. So for us, we'd probably just put the information of stuff that we work with, which would be like hardware, software, um, and reviews of the type of stuff that we do. So you could actually do that and you can see how this would stack and it looks pretty cool. So it's different for each of the logos depending on how they're set up. So I'm actually gonna remove a slogan because I don't want one for mine. I just want it to be um, mainly just the icon based logo with some text. So we'll select that. And like I said, if you're not satisfied, go ahead and change the icons and select some that you think might work better for you. But once you found one that you like, go ahead and click on customize icons, colors, and text. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the editor. On the right hand side, we have the preview. This is going to show us what our logo currently looks like and we'll update as we make changes. So a quick little thing I wanted to add that I noticed while making the thumbnail for this video 
is that if you do scroll down inside the editing pane, you can actually preview what your logo is going to look like on websites, apparel, business cards, mobile phones, and just like I said, other merchandise and even social media pages. So this is another thing to keep in mind whenever you're editing your logo and creating it to see how it's going to look and appear on other platforms. So I thought I would go ahead and throw that in. So let's jump back to the main part of the video. And on the left hand side, we have the different menus so we can adjust the icon name, slogan, colors, background and the layouts. And to the right of that, we have the different settings inside of them. And as we can see up here in the top left hand corner, we have the icon section currently selected so we can adjust things like color, the size, margins, turn the icon on or off or even select a new icon altogether. We're going to go ahead and stay with the icon we currently have, and I'm going to go ahead and change part of this to a gray, and we can see how that starts to change the logo over here. And we can see also in the preview how it changes some of those as well. We could change color too, but I feel like for how to tech color two really fits. So we're going to go ahead and stay with that. And like I said, we have the ability to adjust the size of this and make our logo really huge or really tiny. But for me, I think a three is probably just about as good as I want it. Um, it's a decent size and it's not too overpowering for the rest of it. We also have the ability to adjust margins, and this is going to determine the spacing between um, your logo and the text or the slogan and any of the other stuff that's inside of this logo. But I think something around like 50 um, should be pretty decent. So I'm going to go ahead and leave mine at 50. So now let's go ahead and adjust the name. So if you typed your name in right, that's probably nothing you'll have to change there, but we do have some other options. If you don't care for the font or it doesn't fit the personality or the style that you're going for, you can adjust it here and just find something that works out best for you. For me, I think this actually looks pretty cool for a technology um, design, but if I wanted it to be a little bit more corporate or business, um, they have different fonts for that as well. So go through here, find whatever works best for you. But for this, I think I'm actually going to go with this more of a modern kind of techie font in itself. So I'm going to go ahead and go with that and click the back arrow and see some of the other options that I have. So I can leave the text black or I could go ahead and adjust it and change it to the same color as like this little accent color inside of the logo. I can also adjust the sizing of it if I didn't think that it was large enough or if it was you know too large and I wanted to make it smaller, I could adjust that there. And we can also adjust the spacing, which is going to change the amount between each letter. And we also have the margins, which changes the distance between it and the logo as well. But for me, I think the margins are fine, but I do think me turning up that spacing looks a little crazy. So let's kind of dial that back in and something like that looks pretty good to me. So I'm not going to be using a slogan for mine, but I'm going to go ahead and show you that you can still customize this as well. So let's go ahead and just put technology here and we'll go ahead and show you that you can also change the size of this and you can make it even bigger than your brand name if you wanted to. I wouldn't suggest that, um, but you could do that where you could change the color of it as well and make it whatever you want, or you can just turn it off if you decide it doesn't look good for you. So there is once again, just as much customization there as well as the name or the icon. Now let's go ahead and look at colors. What colors are is essentially a template to run off of that is predefined as looking pretty decent for a business. So if I click this, we can see that there's lots of contrast and it's easy to read and the logo. I don't think it looks as good with the astronaut blue, but maybe for a different company, it looks great for a logo. But we also have many different options. This right here looks very business-like and looks very modern and nice and clean. We also have this, which looks very similar to what we had at the very beginning. And we can just kind of tab through these. I do want to go ahead and mention that if you change your color here, it will affect everything you've already changed as far as the colors for everything up here. So keep that in mind. You might want to mess with this first before you go ahead and mess up the hard work you just put in. But once again, it's very easy to go back and make those changes. So don't sweat it too much, but simply go through here, find whatever you think looks good. I'm just going to go ahead and go with the ebony clay sky because I think that looks fine to me. And we'll go ahead and move over to the background. 
In backgrounds, the first thing I would suggest is going ahead and selecting the show background option. And the reason why is Zarla gives you many options to export your file or your logo as. And some of those file types are for social media websites that give you things like banners for Twitter, Facebook, and other social media platforms, which is great. But if they're transparent, they typically don't look as good. So go ahead and check that box and select a background that you would like to go with. But they also still give you the ability to export the transparent option as well. So just go ahead and select a background depending on whatever your color scheme is. White may look good, black or gray may look good. Those are pretty um, neutral background colors. And depending on what colors you're using, that should turn out pretty decent. So just go ahead, make sure you check that and figure out whatever color looks best for you. The last step in designing your logo on Zarla is checking the layouts and seeing which one might work best for you. So the current layout I have is this one right here at the bottom, and it's kind of a banner stretched layout and we have different options. So if we decided that we wanted a more um, traditional like box kind of logo, we can go with that and we can choose that format or we could even go with this more like logos perched on top of the text you have your options here. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and go with this bottom one, but you have many different options once again to choose from and decide what you think is the best before you go ahead and get your logo. So now all we need to do is go ahead and type in our email address and it'll send us a download link to the email and I'll show you guys what that looks like in just a second. So when you receive your email from Zarla, just go ahead and open it. It may go to your spam folder, so go ahead and make sure it didn't go there. And all we need to do is click on download logo files. This will take us over to Zarlo's website once again and give you options for possibly setting up an online store if you're interested in that. They give you really easy step-by-step -step ways to do that. So if that's something you're interested in doing with your business, that's a good option. And then option two is to download our logo. And I just want to talk about and brag on them. I know this is a sponsored video, but I want to brag on them about the amount of options they give you. I've used many different websites in the past to create logos, and some of them are very, very feature rich. And Zarla is very feature rich. But the fact that they give you the ability in a one click download to download your logo for this many platforms in the right format is the coolest thing I've seen from a company that offers something like this. This right here is a lot of work if you're a graphic designer to go ahead and export and even take a logo and put them into these other files um, and formats. And one of the best things that I've seen as well is they give you what's called an SVG. An SVG is a scalable vector graphic. And if you plan on using your logo for anything for your business ever in the future and you need to send it to a graphic designer, they will love you for having this file and your logo is going to look amazing on whatever they print or use your logo for. So that's just something to keep in mind. And we also have it for many different social media websites. And we even have standard logo files that you can go ahead and download and use on your website and much, much more. So we've got the popular social media platforms and cover photos for them as well. And what's even better about it is all you got to do is click the download all button and it downloads every single thing for you. Very, very cool. And I'm so glad that this is an option here. So I'm going to go ahead. I've already downloaded mine and all you need to do is find your download and right click on it and click extract all on a Windows computer. And what this is going to do is essentially open up the folder and unzip it so we can see that we've got how to tech logo premium logo files in a dot zip. And now we have it just as a regular folder file. They go ahead and zip these to compress the files so they're not extremely large because there are quite a few files in here and it might be more convenient for you to even copy it over as a backup as well. So I do suggest if you're running a business or you plan on using this logo for anything important or, you know, it's just really easy to do. Just go ahead and download everything because you don't want to regret it and have to go back and start doing all this stuff again in the future. It's not hard, but this just saves you a step because it's literally a one button click to download everything. So now that we've got everything downloaded, I'm going to go ahead and show you this. We've got the different versions of the vectors, which is really awesome to have. And we also have all of our social media platforms. So we'll go ahead and click on something like Facebook. 
we have a large cover photo. So this would be good for your cover page for your Facebook. And we also have a standard logo, which would look great on a profile picture for a business page. And we have tons of other social media websites. If you're setting up a website of your own, it's great to have this favicon. This would look cool at the top of your page. Um, this is actually, I can show you if you guys don't know what a favicon is, it's this right here. If you look at Zarla's website, how they have their logo up here and even how my Gmail has this little envelope, that is what a favicon is. And they've included that as well. Super, super awesome. And we have our standard logo files and they even do them in grayscale, which is really cool if you ever needed to do some prints and even some transparent options as well. So very, very neat and a very awesome solution that is 100% free to get your logo and download it and get many different file formats that you'd normally can't expect from any other website that markets their stuff typically as free. Zarla is 100% free and you don't have to enter a credit card and they're not asking for your money for just creating a logo. Now they do have other options for them to make money and that is by you signing up to start an online store through them. And at this point, if you've spent this much time working on a logo, you've saved yourself a ton of money and maybe it's something you look into doing. So go ahead and check them out if you're looking at using your business that you're currently creating a logo for, for possibly selling some stuff online. They've got some options for you. So yeah, guys, that's going to be all for this video. If you enjoyed, you know what to do. Go ahead, destroy that like button, get subscribed and turn on notifications for future videos from How To Tech. Big thanks once again to Zarla for sponsoring this video. I think it's great and I hope it's a great tool for you guys as well. Let me know in the comment section down below. This has been Chad from How To Tech, helping you take your tech to the next level, and I will see you in the next video. Peace. If you'd like to check out some of our other videos, you can do so right over there. And if you'd like to be like these lovely people down below, you can become a YouTube member today. Our members get early access to videos, discounts on merch, emotes, and tons of other features that other people on YouTube don't get. And once again, they help support us. So big thanks to you guys as well. Thank you for watching.